Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It is a beautiful day, even though we are supposed to be staying inside. I have come out to the park, a different park, one street across from our house, uh, to tell you how e-scooters have changed my life for the better. So, when I first discovered Lime scooters and I first rode them, it wasn't just the fact that they were really fun, it was the fact that you could just step on this thing and go anywhere. It's not like a car where you have to sit down and strap in and there's no air on your face. This is like a bike, but even less because there's no effort. This you could step on and it would take you anywhere. It was fun to ride, um, it was maneuverable, uh, you could get a lot of fresh air, it was like riding a bike and there was no effort. So. <laughs> If you like riding a bike, then this video is not for you. But just that first ride was actually not even here. It was in it was in Middle Eastern Europe uh, on our trip. I didn't film it. I filmed one we took in Paris to the Eiffel Tower, but I didn't film the first one I'd ever taken. And that was because I didn't know that it was going to change my life at that point. That ride was the tipping point. That was when I realized this is amazing. I want to I want to have one of these. I want to be able to ride it every day and I just want to have fun. And so we used them to get around like when there was trips that were going to take us walking like 30 minutes or an hour or longer and it was burning hot outside or really humid although I'm not sure we took them any in Asia, which is mostly where it was humid. And we used them to get around. A one hour walking trip would turn into about 10 minutes, which would cost you a couple dollars. And you were then saved from the burning hot sun because you had fresh air in your face and it was only 10 minutes. So it was a much easier way, although even then we still didn't ride them very often. But ever since that first ride, any city that had them, I was always, can we go on one? Can we go on one? Can we take it here? Why are we walking when we can take a lime scooter? And the answer was always because we don't have the budget, which totally makes sense. We didn't allocate for taking taxis or e-scooters in our trip budget. We were just gonna walk everywhere, which is fine until you realize that sometimes in 90 degree Fahrenheit weather, we will be walking six miles a day which is a little bit unbearable. So it got really tiring, um, but only when it got really bad did we either hire an Uber, take a taxi, or ride a scooter, or a tuk-tuk in Middle Eastern Asia. We're actually uh, being very exhausted because of the heat, not heat exhaustion, mind you, but being really tired and grumpy from the heat was a lot more common. So. I eventually, they gave in, and a couple more times throughout Europe, we got to ride the scooters. And again, it was just as fun as the first time, if not more fun, because I actually knew how to ride them. Uh, usually though, we would only take two, and we would have to ride in pairs, or we would only take one, and it would be just for fun, and me and my sister would just take turns and just ride around on it. Because back then, the apps actually only allowed you to take one scooter per phone, and we only had the Lime app, so we could only rent two scooters at a time, even if we wanted to rent more, but usually we didn't. So we mostly just used them for fun and not really for practical use. Uh, until we discovered in Paris that there was hundreds of other e-scooter companies. And these other e-scooter companies had similar, if not lower rates, unless they were higher, in which case we just didn't take them. Uh, and so we could book then like two or more scooters with one phone using different apps. And then the Lime ride through Paris came about. We had two people on Lime scooters and one person uh, on a jump, I believe. So there's, there's like a bunch of different companies. There's like Lime, Bird, Jump, Wheels, Voy, Wind. I could go on. Point is, that was the first time we had taken a scooter that I remember for actually practical use because in Paris, it was a lot cheaper. I'm sure you can imagine this. It was a lot cheaper than taking a taxi. Taking a taxi would have been to, from our house, our apartment to the Eiffel Tower. Even though it wasn't that long of a distance, 
would have been incredibly expensive versus paying for three e-scooters, which was like 10 euros in total. So that was the first time that I remember that we actually used them for practical transportation. Even that was very fun compared to the rides we had been doing where me and Gwyneth swapped. Uh, if not more fun, because I actually got more time to myself with just me on the scooter. These scooters are here now, and they're really fun. So I began actually looking to see if you could get a personal e-scooter, and I discovered that there were hundreds of options. From $200 to $2,000, you could get a scooter for just about any purpose. And that was where I got hooked. I realized that for I started looking and I realized that for about $300 or more, this is where I started researching, I could get myself a scooter with a range of 12 miles, a top speed of 15 miles an hour, and a bunch of other features. And I was like, my mind was blown. Like this was incredible. It still is incredible. That same scooter has dropped to $250 now, which is a great deal. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, that is the GoTrex GXL V2. It's $250, which is still an amazing deal for that scooter. So if you want to buy it, go check out my review. It's linked in the description of that video. And so I researched for a while, I compared options, and I eventually decided based on reviews, features, options, and price that I wanted to get the GoTrex GXL V2. And it was awesome. I got it, I unboxed it, and I could ride to my climbing class, to my piano class, and I could ride with my friends. I could go anywhere, but there's a catch. I'm limited by range, and that was the main thing holding me back, and also one of the major contributing reasons as to why I got this, my new Segway ES4. That scooter, though, the GoTrax, was still an amazing change. From being able to go out with my friends most of the time when I wanted to, to just having the independence to choose when I wanted to leave from my class, depending on how early I wanted to be there, to even just going to the park to film videos like this whenever I want. That freedom had never been in my life before because I had only had bikes and I would have been too young to go out on my own, so my parents would have come with me. Um, also, it's faster. Normally on a bike, you'd only go 10, 12 miles an hour at cruising speed. This goes 17 and the GoTrex went about 15 to 16. So it was already a lot faster than my previous modes of transportation. Another thing was that it's easy. There's no effort involved. You just step on, press your thumb down, and you're off. It gave me so much freedom and so much happiness. I loved it. I knew, yep, I'm never going to be at a point in life where I don't have one of these if I can help it. Because this is by far the best thing that has given me so much unrestricted joy in my life. I love it. Just, there's nothing else to it. I just, I just love it. It, I am enabled whenever I want to go down to the park and get some fresh air. I can choose when I want to leave for climbing and I can ride with my friend that has an e-scooter. My old scooter, however, was quite limited by range. It only got about six miles at top speed. So after the advertised 12, which is understandable because that range is measured at 50% speed. But I was riding six miles with my friend in like an hour. We would go and go down to the post office because he needed to pick up a letter and come back and my scooter would die on the way back. And I was like, I can't deal with this anymore. The GoTrax ended up actually completely losing battery over 10 times in the six months or seven months I had it, which doesn't seem like a lot until you realize that those 10 times I had to push it myself uh, a multiple miles back home in some cases which doesn't sound too hard, right? A normal scooter, oh, that's fine. It'll only take you 20 minutes and it'll be pretty easy. But these scooters, because they have a motor, uh, the front axle is actually quite a lot of resistance, even when it's off. So the GoTrax was great. It improved my life a ton, but it just wasn't quite perfect. I just needed something where I could go with my friend for a couple of hours, just, just to go wherever we wanted in the town and then just be able to come back and still have a little bit of battery left, or at least enough to get back. But the GoTrex wasn't quite there. 
for $300. Last October, it was a killer deal. Amazing. Definitely the best one I could have bought by the park. But this March, when this deal popped up for $320, when this scooter usually retails for $800, I knew. It just instantly, as soon as I saw the first review of it, I just knew I'm getting this scooter. There's absolutely nothing that can stop me unless I don't have enough money. And I did. So this thing <laughs> arrived at my house and instantly, first time I stepped on, I loved it even more than the goat tracks, which sounds crazy. And I know I'm being super annoying right now by ranting, but I love this thing. It has 16 miles. It'd be basically impossible to wear this out unless I somehow went eight miles away from the house and then eight miles back, which I'm probably never going to do unless I start commuting. Um, it goes much faster than the GoTrack. I can feel it. Uh, it's more stable and it's amazing for $320, 100%. If you have the money and you want an e-scooter, this is the best one I, by far that I know of. Just, <laughs> just get this one. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about how e-scooters change my life. And this one helped it even more. Now, I haven't actually been able to use it practically yet because we're still in quarantine, but even just now, by riding it to the park and back, I can tell that it's gonna be so much better than the GoTrax. And I'm not throwing anything bad at the GoTrax's name. It is a great scooter, but because this is on sale for half off, this absolutely throws it out of the water. The GoTrax is no match in comparison to this, but that's okay because it's not supposed to be. The GoTrax is a budget-friendly scooter meant for people who just wanna get on and go commuting or just ride to a park, whatever they want. It's a super budget starter e-scooter. This, normally retailing at $800, is a commuter uh, medium level scooter for people that wanna go on long rides, like commuting to work 10 miles away or going on a bike ride for two hours. So of course, this scooter is going to beat the GoTrax and it does 100%. It doubles the range of the GoTrax. <laughs> I'm doing it again. I'm ranting about how much better this scooter is. No, this scooter changed my life because it gives me all that freedom, that independence to do whatever I want, whenever I want, as long as it's safe, of course, I know. That freedom is the main reason that I love these scooters so much. Not only is it fun um, and I get fresh air and I can go to the park and just ride around and have a great time, it gives me that freedom and independence to do that. And that is amazing.